Hi, I'm Matt Shade Tech. I'm a producer and DJ based in Brooklyn, New York, and I'm also the course designer for the Logic program at DubSpot and DubSpot Online. In this tutorial, we're gonna look at a quick and easy workflow for tracking beats off of hardware sequencers. So I'm gonna use the MPC, the Akai MPC. I'm using an MPC uh, 2500. And so what we're gonna do is we're just going to track our audio out of the MPC in this case to separate elements so that we can mix them and apply effects and so on to each separate part of the beat. Now, one important thing here is on the MPC, we are able to record uh, different drum hits to different tracks, and you're gonna need to have your beat recorded that way. So you don't wanna have your kick and your snare on the same track in the MPC, for example. So I've got, uh, I think, six tracks here um, with just some drums, uh, kick, snare, closed hi-hat, open hat, and a crash, and then like a little kick roll. And so I'm gonna show you how I track two separations and this is not using a multi output setup i'm just using the main output on the mpc i'm just running two quarter inch cables into my sound card out of the main left and right outputs on the mpc and then what i'm doing is i'm going to solo through each of the tracks in the mpc while keeping the sequence going. This is the really critical part of this workflow is that you don't stop and start while you're recording because that's gonna keep everything in time. And then once we have it into Logic, we can line it up with the grid in Logic and just cut each part onto uh, a separate track. So I'm just gonna run through this beat that I have here and do that real quick. And then I'll show you how to, uh, how to chop it up and get it ready for, uh, for mixing and arranging. Okay, so now you can see we've got our audio recorded in, um, and I kind of tried to tap it on close to the beat. It's a little off, that really doesn't matter, um, because what we're gonna do is just zoom right in, and then we're just gonna grab this start point here and just drag it right up to the beginning here. And I started with the complete beat. I'm not actually gonna use that, but that's just kind of there as a reference for me. So I'm just gonna go zoom right down to a really tight level. Um, and I'm zooming here by holding down the option key on the computer keyboard and then doing a, uh, a mouse wheel. I'm on a laptop, so I'm doing the two finger swipe on the trackpad, but that's a nice little uh, way to zoom in Logic if you guys aren't up on that yet. So I'm just gonna grab this corner Boom, line it right up there with the start of the kick and then just drag that right to the one. And now we should have our beat lined up with the grid here. I set the tempo to be the same. In this case, the tempo is 75, right? So I match the tempo between the MPC and Logic. And now, check it with the metronome. So that's nice, that's lined up. The next step is we're gonna take this and chop it into four bar pieces. So in this case, I did uh, a four bar loop in the MPC. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up my scissor tool and I'm pulling that up in the middle of the screen here by hitting the escape key. That's another little shortcut for you. Um, escape key brings up the tool palette. Um, so let's grab that scissor tool. And then I'm just going to go right over here, scrub, and just drag along to five. Now, I can just cut there, right, and separate. Now, I'll sh another little tip here that'll make this faster is I'm just going to do this, right, click. And then while I'm still holding down the mouse, I'm going to hold down the option key. Watch the cursor. 
See how it gets that little plus sign beside it? What this is gonna do is slice this thing into equal four bar chunks. So I'm gonna keep holding down option and let go of the mouse. And now you can see, instead of just making one cut, it's made a whole bunch of cuts. So it's cut my piece in equal pieces. And this is gonna be based on the distance to the previous cut. So I was four bars away from the beginning of the region right here at one. So it calculated that and then did four bar chunks for me, which is what I want. So I'm actually going to just highlight this and mute it by pressing the M key on the keyboard. And then I'm just gonna grab this first piece here. Now this is my closed hat, right? But when I did it, I just kind of missed the timing by a little bit. So I got that extra crash and kick. And so what I did was I just allowed it to loop around one extra time. I just went for an extra four bars just to make sure that I got that clean, complete four bar loop by itself. And that's, you know, you want to do this. You don't want to stop playing, but if you miss a, a transition from element to element, you know, or you screw something up, just let it loop back around again and grab a clean uh, four bar loop. So now I'm just going to keep dragging these parts, grab the, uh, the clap there, um, grab the kicks, and let me just use my new track with duplicate setting here to make a couple more tracks, we'll close the groups, we're not going to use those for now. Um, and I just need this, and we'll do that. Now this is actually my template that I made, you'll see if you look at the channel strip, there's a bunch of stuff ready to go on there, this is not the standard logic default. Um, and if you're interested in learning about that, um, you should check out the DubSpot online course because uh, I do a whole class about setting up this template. Okay, so now we've got our parts lined up, right? And let's just check it. Nice. So we've got everything that we need there. Um, and that was nice and easy, you know, so you could do a whole bunch of beats this way. And that's usually how I work is I'll just take some time, put together a little drum kit and load it up on the MPC. And then I'll just make like 10 or 20, just kind of simple drum patterns like this. Um, and then just track them all off uh, and just have them so that when I want to go make a track, I've got some drums ready to go tracked out. Uh, as audio and you know of course we can sequence drums inside of logic um, but I kind of started making beats on the MPC and I just really like the feel of it I also like writing patterns while I'm not looking at a screen um, you know you're really doing it by ear and by and by feel you know and so I like to you know mix up my workflow a little bit I definitely write plenty of drums in logic but I like to go and sometimes you know switch up the workflow a little bit and get a different feeling that way. So now that we've got these, and they're all chopped in nice four bar loops, we can just highlight them all, hit L, and then we've got like a nice bed of, uh, of a beat there looping out, and we can go into each part. For example, adjust the level, this closed hat is pretty loud. I had one little messed up, uh, one of these closed symbols, where were they? Here we go. Where the open hats, these guys. That, I just hit it a little quietly and didn't bother to fix it. Um, so I could just go in here and just grab this second one. Just cut it out, option drag it over. And of course you can go as crazy as you want in terms of editing this, like uh, you know, I, I like the balance of making kind of a raw beat in the MPC, but then maybe going in and chopping it up in logic. Like we could do some, you know, some stuff like this. So I just highlight all the tracks and to scissor them all at once. And then that's actually pretty similar to what I had. Let's make it a little more. You know, or we could do something like go first and then. Yeah, we get some, uh, 
some crashes in there. I think this is my crash. Yeah. So, you know, you get that kind of combination of making your beat raw and then you can get the uh, all the nice audio editing capabilities to make the loop a little more interesting, make it not just a four bar loop, you know, so get this kind of stuff going on. And now that we've got it in, in Logic, we can use all Logic synths and everything to, uh, to build out the rest of the track. So there's just a little uh, quick workflow tip for you and uh, hope that was helpful. And if, you, uh, you know, if you're trying to execute it on uh, another, another piece of hardware, um, hopefully you can uh, you know, make the translation and make it work for you. If you wanna learn more stuff like this, you can check out the full 48 class logic course either at our school in Manhattan uh, in New York City or online by going to dubspot.com. And if you'd like to learn more about me and my own production, you can check me out at mattshadetech.com. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, Dubspot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore Dubspot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.